let me finish my story and then we'll pray tonight. I made up my mind that I must find God because I have the answers. I have no business being in ministry. Before that time, I was already working in miracles. I was already seeing signs and wonders. But I was discontented. I didn't want to lie to people. I didn't want to deceive people. I didn't want to just be, travel and be called a great man of God because of the fear of the Lord. And days became weeks in his presence. Weeks became months in his presence. And I said, Lord, look, let me tell you, there is a level of desperation that a man must communicate. If the scope of your pursuit is to get an anointing so that you can eat, the day the food comes, the impetus to continue to drive to the things of the spirit is no longer there. I never knew that they used to invite men of God and keep them in hotels and even give them honorarium. I didn't know. All I wanted was him. I wasn't looking for ministry. Fame, power. Lord, there's got to be a question that you must answer. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 became a reality in my life. And ye shall seek me and find me only if you seek me with all your heart. If it is not a matter of death and life, you will never find him. Listen, my frustration had gotten to a point where it was literally as if I would die. I was tired. Like many of you, I sit in the midst of people like this and I leave them alone and go somewhere and sit quietly. Spirit of the living God, there has to be a way out. I owe my generation a debt that I must pay. And then one night, when my hunger touched the heart of God, that night, all of a sudden, what happened to Job happened to me. Here he arose in his majesty from his throne. Many people claim they have seen Jesus. But we don't see the results of seeing Jesus. There are nine evidences that show in your life. If it's the real Jesus you have seen. Nine that the Bible puts. If eight out of that nine shows you have not seen Jesus. Nine. It must be nine over nine. If it's the son of the living God you have met. We keep lying that we are seeing angels. We are seeing, our dishonesty is why we don't get the real thing. We tell lies and then because the power of God flows while we are lying, we think it's a justification to continue depriving. Why fake what can be real? Let me tell you, if you really meet Jesus, it will take more than one year for you to recover. You will, you will no longer become a normal human being. No matter how sane you are. Read the Bible and see people who met Jesus. Yet we claim we have seen him 10 times, 50 times, 20 times. We see him every day and yet nothing shifts. Jesus came to me. I wasn't praying. When he showed up, Brothers and sisters, every time I share this story, it, it's as if it's happening again. How I did not die is a mystery that only Him can answer. You know how the nation of Israel, they, no, 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 Lord, reveal yourself to Moses. Majestic. Any part of Him is what you're looking at forever and you will not be tired you know as humans if i look at your shoe after five minutes i want to look at something else not jesus no way no way the beauty of the father till today i cannot tell you how his face looks like it's a mystery i can't tell you how his face looks like how can you meet a man whose face you cannot remember He stood before me and I was like a speck of dust on the ground. That was when I found out 
that in the realm of the spirit you don't have to use your mouth to speak there are many other organs of spiritual communication that the language of the realm of the spirit is light not just words words make your mind fruitful light illuminates your spirit he stood before me and yet was talking this was the man that preachers were talking about when I saw him I knew that many men of God don't know him how could you be preaching volumes of messages this is the Jesus I was told to give my life to I knew that Jesus was not a religious person if he was on earth we would still not invite him to our churches he stood before me it was not condemnation but I knew what Ezekiel felt I knew what Isaiah felt woe is me I am undone this is not condemnation there's so how do I explain this now let me tell you when you see Jesus no matter who you are you are broken he will touch that eternity dimension within you and reduce you back to ashes you will stand before him he kept imparting knowledge upon me and then the hallmark of that encounter and this is where I'm going to he stretched his hands over me and the light imagine carrying the sun and putting it inside an ant that's what happened if you can understand it that light remember the entrance of thy word give it what light and then it gives what I didn't know that that was a miracle understanding all of a sudden he left how he left I don't know did he fly did he disappear I, I still don't know but brothers and sisters I started having strange experiences where my Bible I will be asleep and my Bible will open by itself to chapters listen I seldom share my experiences what is this every scripture I saw changed when I looked at scripture, it was as if another eyes was given to me. And I said, my God, what is this? I started having knowledge of things I didn't know. How did they come? Like prophecy. I started writing. I started writing revelations in languages I never learned. I would write prophecies in Yoruba. What is this? I'm not from the south. It was at that time that I had another encounter. And then the Lord spoke to me and said, Son, I give you my presence as a gift. Listen, you may not know why the things that happen, happen. I'm explaining it to you. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. And all of a sudden, He said, There is an angel that will walk with you. And he's called the angel of the Lord's presence. He walks with you. And part of the assignment that was given to me is that everywhere I travel, that light that came from Jesus to me, there must be at least one person among that crowd that that light come up. Listen. One man saw the burning bush but everybody had the burning bush experience one man saw the burning bush then the rest saw his face when they saw his face they had his encounter not everybody can see the burning bush not everybody can rise up the mountain are we together and brothers and sisters light came this is how the mysteries that are documented in the teachings till today while I'm sitting the angel of his presence comes to me and the scrolls are opened and the mysteries are given to me one of them is what I will share tomorrow with you 
and he opened up to me and I began to see dimensions of the power and the grace of God for more than one year I didn't recover more than one year nobody could come close to me you wouldn't be able to come close to me I said what kind of a life is this just because I saw a being that's why I'm saying there's something wrong with many of these things we say no you would not come more than a few meters to where I was sitting no people I would go literally to a restaurant to sit down and someone is crying a demon is shouting out of someone I said what is this now I'm not preaching Lord stop embarrassing me but the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord and when that light comes on it it cannot be put under a bushel again light me Lord light me Lord light me Lord like menorah light me Lord light me Lord light me Lord like a candle light me Lord light me Lord light me Lord like a candle light me Lord light me Lord light me Lord 